students here i explain a simple experiment how to draw magnetic lines of force due to a solenoid now observe the experiment carefully this is a white plank or it is a table covered with a white paper make holes opposite to each other as shown in the figure take a copper wire of 24 gauge insert it through the holes as shown in the figure you will get a long coil that long coil is called solenoid so what is solenoid solenoid is nothing but a long coil okay the two ends of the solenoid are connected to a battery through a switch now sprinkle iron filings over the white paper or plank now switch on the current flows through the solenoid so it behaves like a magnet it creates magnetic field around it now the iron filings are arranged in an orderly manner they look like magnetic lines of force their arrangement will be like this these are magnetic lines of force due to a current carrying solenoid this is the solenoid all these are magnetic lines of force okay so one end of the solenoid behaves like north pole and another end of the solenoid behaves like a south pole and the current carrying solenoid is exactly equal to a bar magnet this is equal to a bar magnet one face become north pole and another face become south pole the face in which current flows in anti clockwise direction behaves like a north pole it behaves like a north pole and the face in which current is flowing in clockwise direction behaves like a south pole so this is a south pole and that is a north pole if current flows in anti clockwise direction that is this is anti clockwise direction if current flows in anti clockwise direction that face will become north pole okay if the current flows in clockwise direction that face will become a south pole this is the procedure how to draw magnetic lines of force due to a solenoid right dear students here is a simple experiment that shows when a current carrying wire is placed in a magnetic field it experiences a force now observe it carefully this is a wooden plank this is a wooden stick that is fixed to the wooden plank vertically this is another wooden stick that is also fixed vertically to the wooden plank at their tops there are slits here is a slit at its top here is also a slit at its top now take a copper wire of 24 gauge and allow the copper wire to pass through the slits okay now the two ends of the copper wire are connected to a battery through a switch uh, switch on current flows through the copper wire right the copper wire is straight in position this is the position of the copper wire bring a horseshoe magnet and place the horseshoe magnet over the wire without touching as shown in the figure immediately this copper wire which is in straight position takes a curved position due to some repulsion so it is experiencing a force am i right now reverse the poles of the horseshoe magnet now it is south pole and this is north pole reverse the direction then this wire will occupy uh, will take this shape indicating it is experiencing a force in opposite direction so 
whenever a current carrying wire is placed in a magnetic field here horseshoe magnet is producing magnetic field okay whenever a current carrying wire is placed in a magnetic field that current carrying wire experiences a force okay this is the conclusion of this experiment